Hello everybody, uh, this is the first video in this uh, series of um, introduction to Microsoft Excel with applications in chemical engineering. This course is made by Muataz Musa and myself, Mohamed Gamal, and we both uh, are um, uh, used to work as teaching assistants in chemical engineering department in Cairo University in Egypt, and uh, we used to give this course as uh, an undergrad course. And um, before we go ahead and uh, talk about the course and this introduction, I just want to point out why we did this course or why we made this course and gave it as a, an undergrad course. So um, we found that we had a problem while we'll be before we graduate and actually we found this problem is still with the undergrads when we used uh, when we worked as TAs. And this problem is was that uh, students know well how to use the pen and paper to solve their problems. They know the concept, the background ground and everything but they find it really difficult to use the, any software or even they don't know what's the software to use to solve these problems to save time and do the calculations more accurate and uh, more quicker uh, than they do it manually and uh, that's why we found it's really important to introduce this software and to uh, know how to use this software to solve your problems and the ultimate goal of this course is actually to really love this software and know that it's gonna save you a lot of time and solve your problems really accurate and uh, really uh, quickly um, so uh, as I said the the object of the course is to get introduced to Microsoft Excel and its features and to use the to use it to solve your chemical engineering problems and uh, you should be able to build your own Excel sheet and do the calculations to uh, that solve your problems and we are going to cover uh, different topics in this course which uh, will start with basics and these basics will be really useful to even non-engineering students uh, just uh, an introduction to excel and knowing what's the uh, layout of the excel and what's going on there um, and we're gonna apply most of these uh, stuff that we're gonna learn in the introduction in the chemical engineering problems like thermodynamics, chemical reaction engineering, material energy balance, fluid mechanics, phase equilibrium, and mass transfer. Um, and in these chemical engineering parts, we are gonna start with uh, an introduction to these uh, problems that we are trying to solve. And uh, sometimes we are gonna see how we solve them manually and then to see how to solve them with Microsoft Excel. So it's just to make sure that we are gonna be in the same page and people are really understanding what's going on there. Um, another really important thing to uh, keep in mind is what's the equation. Um, and it's, uh, it's really important to know uh, that the equation is just a description of uh, a phenomena that's uh, happening or maybe uh, one equation or set of equations just to um, describe this equation and how it behaves and one important or really um, famous uh, equation is the ideal gas law which is the PV equals NRT <coughs> and it's really just showing that there is a relation between pressure, volume and time and uh, I, I mean temperature and that any parameter change can affect the other two parameters and um, using this equation you can predict what's gonna happen in the system if you change any one of these parameters without doing the experiment so you just uh, apply the uh, the change to the equation and then calculate and get the uh, behavior of the system so it's just uh, saving time and uh, letting you know uh, if you're gonna design something you know how uh, you need to design it um, so after we know what are the equations we need to know what are the m main types of equation you can and it's it's really really important to know this because it's gonna affect your choice of the software that you're gonna use to solve your problems so um, the equations can be um, classified into two main categories uh, the first one is the algebraic equations and the differential equation is the second one so the algebraic equations are almost any equation you can imagine it can be uh, like this uh, van der Waal equation it can has uh, it can have square root it can have power like stuff uh, uh, like trigonometric functions sine cosine exponential any any uh, mathematical uh, thing that you can think of can be um, categorized under the algebraic equations and Microsoft Excel is really really powerful in solving these types of equations you can solve whatever type of equation you just put the equation and know how to solve this and we're gonna go through all these uh, algebraic equations that you can think of in this course 
Um, the other type is the differential equation, and the differential equation can be classified into or, or um, like uh, two ca two other uh, subcategories: is the ordinary differential equation and the partial differential equation, which which are usually called as ODEs and PDEs. And uh, as you see, the differential equation has this d by dt or d by dx term, which is the derivative term. And uh, in the ordinary differential equation, you have only one independent variable, which is the, the time here. While in this partial differential equation, you have more than one dependent variable, independent variable. You have time, and then you have uh, x, y, and z variables. Um, so in this case, Microsoft Excel is not really powerful. You can solve these per ordinary differential equations in some cases using the uh, uh, analytical solution. So you uh, do some s like solution to this uh, shape and then trying to get it to be an algebraic equation so you can solve it easier but it's 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 not the case for all uh, algebraic uh, i mean ordinary differential equations and the case for partial differential equation is much much more difficult so usually the the differential equations are solved by something uh, called the uh, numerical solution which is is uh, pretty difficult to do with excel and uh, in this case it's better to use some other software like um, uh, MATLAB or uh, Mathematica or whatever software because the software has have uh, the built-in uh, modules that can solve these types of equation really easily and really quickly and we are gonna so show uh, like this equation at the v at the end of this course in the two or three last videos uh, we're gonna show how to use Microsoft Excel to solve this type of equation uh, with Excel uh, and with MATLAB and see how it's really easier to use MATLAB so it's really important to know the limits of your software and know when you can shift from this software to another software that can save you much time uh, one last thing is how we name the videos on YouTube and uh, actually this is uh, how we name the videos the the first is the Excel for chemical engineering uh, for chemical engineers uh, and then you have uh, this number the first number is the video number in the series starting from 1 to almost 35 I think and then you have the uh, section number I mean the section name and then we have the uh, number of the uh, video in this uh, section so each section will have its own number so if uh, say, uh, say for instance you have nine videos in the introduction so this will be one over nine and then two over nine and then after we are done with the introduction we'll start with say thermodynamics it will be thermo one over something so to just to make it easier for you to uh, search for the video that you're looking for without uh, like, uh, getting confused uh, the course notes are available in the download link that's available in the video description and I recommend that you download this uh, course notes and uh, check it. It, al it almost has all the uh, information that we are uh, uh, showing here in this uh, videos and uh, you can like use it to uh, uh, save you some time. Um, and that's all for today and we'll see you in next video. Bye bye.